Hi everyone. Now we will learn in Angular how we can get and set input field value. So first of all we will get value uh, of input field with the input event. Then we will see how we can get value with the template reference variable. Uh, this topic is very important that could be asked in interview. So uh, watch it carefully. After that we will see how we can set value on the button click for input field. And at last we will discuss some important interview question also. So now let's move on the code and I am making one input field there and let me add placeholder also and placeholder value is let's say enter username or something then let me create one button also there I'll put uh, set uh, username or something right set username I think it should work now to make some spa space I'm uh, adding some br tag you can use css also to maintain space space between these two fields so now first let's uh, create a input field also there uh, so now let's create a property also in the app.component.ts and property name you can put anything let me put there uh, name only and it will be okay so now let's create a property in app.component.ts file and you can put any name to that property let me put their uh, username and its initial value is empty we can say that and now let me create one function get username and there let me uh, get an event also there as a parameter and its type should be event only like this so now let me console.log this event so that we can get to know what we are getting in this uh, event and now let's add one event there on the input field and this event will be input only you can use uh, key up or key press also if you want but input is fine then you can use this function which is get username and inside this we can pass event and for event you have to use their dollar keep in mind this is not jquery dollar this is a special variable all right and now let's open the console also and click on or let, we can add some value there let's see let me add there anil sidhu which is my name and now you can see that in this input field we have target and inside the target uh, we have one uh, you can see that property with the name of value here you can see that so if i just directly get their value uh, uh, input dot target dot value then i will get uh, uh, this name right so now let's try this and you will find that there is a error so let me put there target dot value right and now you will find two things uh, target can be possibly null and value uh, may be not exit uh, exist in this event so what we can do there for that let's take a variable and its name you can put name or anything and you can make it constant also that is completely fine you can make anything then use event dot target as HTML input element and to get the value you can just use these braces and simply put their value now you'll find there is no issue at all and now you can console this name also and now if i just typing something you can see that i'm getting this name perfectly so update this username property dot user name equal to name like this right and now here let me take one h2 tag use interpolation and we can mention their username right so if i'm just typing something here now you can see that i'm able to get its value input field value on the html as well as in the code here you can see that right okay uh, yeah so there is a one more thing if you want to make it a little bit shorter then you can simply use this dot username and we don't need to use these two things now this is still working perfectly fine okay so the next thing is how we can set its value okay so for that what we can do and um, let me create one more function there set 
username and there we don't need any uh, parameter you can say that and simply put there this dot username equal to maybe let's say uh, peter is default username right that we want to set and there uh, you have to set one property also value and value should be username like this so now if i'm just clicking over there uh, this is not working because we we haven't called this function yet on click event we can say that set user name yeah now it should work here you can see that peter we are getting if i'm just changing something and you'll see do perfectly working fine again let's say i'm setting default username this is still perfect perfectly working fine okay so now the thing is let's say you you have one more button there and its button name is get username and this event is not useful so i'm removing it so when you click on the get username then you want to get the input field value not on the typing so for that what you can do okay so for that uh, you can create one more function and you have to add one uh, template variable also so what is template variable let me show you let me add these all properties in a single line so that you can check all the properties so there you can use hash and let's say username field this is not mandatory to use the same terminology there you can use anything maybe user field username field username whatever you want to do right and on the click of this button what you can do on click right and then we need to make a function let's say get username with template that would be fine i guess right with let me come yeah and now what we'll do there this dot username equal to we'll pass their we'll get their value as a string right and then we can just pass this value like this now how we'll call this function like this and there we can simply pass uh, this username oh sorry we don't have to use their uh, on click we have to use their click only and inside this you can pass this uh, template variable and you can mention their value right so now if i just click on the uh, this one nothing we are getting because nothing is mentioned there so if i just put there anil then you can see that okay so now still this is displayed right so what we can do there i can just make it console so that you can get to know we are getting their value right if i'm just clicking over there you can see that nothing there if i just mention anil we are getting anil but thing is we can dis uh, we cannot display the name on the click of this one because this is already displaying whenever we are typing so for a moment if i just comment out this line then you'll see now this is not coming right now on the top because we just uh, commented this line and if i'm clicking over there now you can see that we are getting this value so this is how we can get the value with the input event as well as on the button click okay so in interview question they can ask how we can use and define template reference variable which i already discussed so thank you so much if you have doubt confusion you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching this part guys